Hey everybody, Matt here for AVC and welcome back to the shop. Today we're going to be using our paper pattern kit to cut a wall panel for our Ford Transit camper build. Let's get to it. Now the beauty of our paper pattern is that we can cut a wall panel from any kind of substrate we want. Whether that is an underlayment material from a local big box store, a composite material like this Max Metal, or Baltic Birch. Since Baltic Birch is our classic van building material, that's what we're going to be using today. If you're curious about some of the other options that I listed, take a look in the description below. We have a video just for that. Let's take a look at the tools we're going to need for this project. To get this job done, the minimum set of tools we're going to need are a jigsaw, a drill, a utility knife, and a can of glue. Now, if we want to go that extra step and have a more professional finish, a track saw is going to help us a ton, and a Forzner bit can take us that last little bit. Let's jump right in. So today, we're going to be cutting out a high roof 148 lower rear passenger side panel. Step one is going to be cut this panel out with our utility knife, staying as close to the line, but not cutting the line. So I'm going to roll up the other panels in this kit and I'm just going to set them aside for the next job. So I'm going to cut the rest of this panel out close to the line so that I know where to spray my adhesive and I don't waste any of that glue. So if I want to utilize the factory edge of my plywood, I can line that up exactly to this black line. That can be a bit of a challenge and since I'm using a track saw today, I'm not going to go through that trouble. So let's go ahead and fold this back halfway and we're going to spray glue. So today I'm using 3M Formula 77. This is not something I would actually use to build a van. This is more of a crafting or paper product glue, but it's going to work perfect for this application. I'm only going to spray one side, so not both sides, because I don't want a permanent bond. I want something that's just lightly tacky. Now holding the rear of my panel in place, I'm just going to roll this out onto my plywood so that I can keep my alignment. This is the same technique we use when we do our fabric wrapping of our panels. And this is why I only do a single section. It's a little more repositionable. I want to get a nice smooth application of this wall panel down so I get the most accurate cut possible. If I'm happy with that, I can spray my other half of the pattern. I'm going to try not to get glue on the face of the pattern because it's just going to make my saw skip around on there. Our pattern is stuck down. Now let's get our saw out and start our cutting. So first, I'm just gonna cut this panel out so I can hit the rest of the details. Uh, we're gonna use our track saw for this and I'm just gonna line it up with this edge. Now, the pattern is designed to cut that black edge off and we're gonna have a perfect size panel if we remove all of the black. So I line up my track saw with that lower section. I've already set my depth to a quarter of an inch. Now I can just cut. Looks good. And I'm gonna move it back here. Now I'm gonna start as close to this corner as I can so that I can save some of that scrap material because other panels can fit out of this section. With all of that drop cut free, now I can just focus on cutting my panel down as accurate as possible. Big, long, straight cuts like this are really where a track saw can shine. And if you're a DIYer, it's probably a pretty good investment. So with all of our straight lines cut out, we're ready to get out the jigsaw and get some of these curved lines cut in. Now, there's two different kinds of bits you would use for a jigsaw. One is an upcut bit and one is called a downcut bit. Now, this downcut bit is going to give us a clean edge on this surface. Since this is the back side of our panel, we're going to use an upcut bit to get this job done. I like using an upcut bit because it's going to give me a clean edge on the bottom side of this panel, and that's the panel that's going to face the interior of my van. So we'll move our workpiece over the edge of the table and we can cut the rest of this out. With my workpiece secured in place, I'm going to go ahead and cut the last piece of this panel out. Since I'm going to be utilizing the 8mm factory inserts for mounting cabinets in the future, I'm going to go ahead and drill these sections out. Now you could do this with a regular drill bit and then jigsaw the rest of that location out. I'm going to use my Forzner bit because it's going to give me a little bit cleaner line. Now I can finish these little straight lines with my jigsaw. And with those 8mm access holes cut out, this panel is complete. One down, 12 more to go. Now don't forget to peel off this paper pattern before you do all of your upholstery work. I know it looks cool, but it's not going to give us the best finish. This is the nice part about only spraying one side of that paper, is it's a very temporary stick, so it releases clean from our work. Now, I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to put a little smiley face on the front half of this panel because I always like to mark the face of my panels when I'm doing upholstery. That way, I make sure I don't accidentally wrap the wrong side, which I may or may have not done in the past. Remember, we here at ABC always recommend cutting all of your panels and test fitting everything as a complete kit before you start your upholstery work. That way, you make sure everything fits exactly the way you want them to. If you have any questions about this process, please let us know in the comments below and we can help you out. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.